What's going on everyone? Ash here with an update on Nintendo's emulation technology and the origins of the ROMs they utilize in their emulation efforts. One long-standing theory has been the idea that Nintendo simply downloads ROMs of their own games off the internet, only to then simply resell those ROMs to consumers through their virtual console service or plug-and-play devices like the NES Classic Edition. This idea was initially mentioned by game archivist Frank Cifaldi during a GDC talk, and would later gain quite a bit of traction on major sites such as Eurogamer. Cifaldi drew this conclusion due to the fact that the .NES header they found in their virtual console version of Super Mario Bros. matches the header found in various pirated Super Mario Bros. ROMs found online. However, thanks to a heads-up by Reddit user PPL Toast, we may now have proof that Nintendo has not been reselling ROMs obtained online. PPL Toast noted that a Nintendo employee known as Tomohiro Kawase, who worked on several emulation projects at the company such as the classic NES series for the Game Boy Advance, previously did work on the iNES emulator that the header originates from. Later on, a resetter member by the name of Kurvavi Abada shed even more light on this subject through their own research into Nintendo's emulation technology as well as their attempts at backwards compatibility. If you'll recall, the original Animal Crossing allowed you to collect and play various NES titles from within the game itself. In light of this, Kurvavi Abadas extracted the Super Mario Bros. ROM from Animal Crossing and compared it to the Virtual Console version of the same game. What they found is that the Virtual Console ROM of Super Mario Bros. is identical to the one in Animal Crossing, suggesting that this is the actual origin of the Virtual Console version. Even more interestingly, every NES game in Animal Crossing has the same ROM header, save for one particular exception. That exception is the Famicom Disk System title Clue Clue Land Welcome to New Clue Clue Land, referred to as Clue Clue Land D in the English release of Animal Crossing, which doesn't have any header at all. Now, it's important to note that Welcome to New Clue Clue Land is an incredibly rare game in general. This is because it was never actually sold in stores and was only available by writing it to a blank disc using the Famicom Disk Writer. In fact, even ROM dumps of Welcome to New Clue Clue Land are tough to find. Our intrepid researcher Kurvavi Abadas did find one though, and what they discovered further corroborates their findings. Essentially, they found that the manufacturing date and the Animal Crossing version of Clue Clue Land D matches up with the game's original copyright year of 1988, which is clearly listed on the title screen, and not its actual release year of 1992, outright confirming that it was sourced from Nintendo's own archives. And that brings us to the end of this news update, but this is just the Cliff's Notes version. If this topic interests you, we highly encourage you to check out the video description below, as we've linked to Kurvavi Abadas' full deep dive into the topic which includes a lot of technical jargon that we've chosen to omit here for the sake of clarity. We'd also like to thank Kurvavi Abadas for their assistance in the research for this video. Make sure to check out their YouTube and Twitch channels, which we've also linked to in the video description below. Otherwise, if you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Nintendo and all things gaming.